Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we are opening the boom boxes for the month of December and we're off to a great start in terms of subscription boxes. The other day I opened the pen box for December and I pulled roughly about a $2,000 card. Now my heart sank when I noticed that it was a an expired redemption of a Luis Robert rookie patch auto cracked ice, a crazy card. I'm gonna to try to redeem that. I'll let you know how that goes. But today we're gonna to try for some more hits. So we've got the $90 mid-end box and the $140 platinum baseball box as well. We also have the elite boom box, but that's just too much to fit in one video. So we'll do that in a separate video soon. Make sure that you have your post notifications on by tapping that bell next to the subscribe button and setting it to all. That way you don't miss a single thing. So. Let's go ahead and get started. We will start things off today with our mid-end box, and we'll save the more expensive box for the second half of this video. The box cutter is back. Let's see what we can do. Hope everyone's having a very pleasant day today. <coughs> All right, well, here's our packs. Let's go ahead and pull them out. I always like to see what we've got first before we look at the uh, the cheat sheet there, and it gives all the all the element of surprise away. Now, typically there's about eight or so packs in a boom box. Let's see what we've got. First off, we've got a 2020 pack of Heritage High Number. That is a hobby pack. We also have a hobby pack of Gypsy Queen as well from 2021. We have a Heritage Regular Series pack from the 2021 hobby pack. Next up, we've got a Stadium Club hobby from 2021 with Christian Yelich on the front. A Topps Chrome Hobby Pack from 2021 as well. Let's move these up and see if we can fit them all. Looks like there's going to be maybe more than eight today. we got an Archives Pack, the 2021 Hobby Pack right there. You hopefully checked out the Archives Saturday Showdown. If you haven't seen that one yet, I suggest you check it out. 2021 Stadium Club Chrome, one of the newer releases out there right now. We have the um, High Number Heritage Pack right there, or that's actually Minor League. Sorry, there's so many different designs with this. High Number actually hasn't come out yet for Hobby. I think it comes out um, very soon. Next, we have Finest. This is a really nice pack there. 2021 Finest. Haven't opened a whole lot of that on the channel. I think we just did maybe one case of that, and that was it. And a Bowman First Edition. So that's a pretty good run right there. We also get a one touch for our biggest hits. So 10 total packs for $90. They range from, you know, there's some packs here that might be considered a little lower end, like maybe these two. And we've got some higher end packs in here like these two. So it'll be fun. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out with the Heritage and do that first. And then we'll work our way up. So let's see what we can find. Hoping for I'm going to go for one autograph from this box. Let's not be too greedy here. One auto would be nice from this edition of the Boom Box. Sometimes you get an auto, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get multiple autographs. You never know. It's like buying a lottery ticket. And sometimes you can really strike it big like we do with the pen box. All right, this is the minor league pack. There we go. Wander Franco. That is a nice card right there. He's Hey, look at that. We have our autograph. It is a Justin Lang. So there we go. It came out early. We may have some time for some more. So that's our first hit. And let's see if it tells us anything about him. He hits 98 miles an hour. I'm trying to look where he was drafted at. Um, I don't know. So you'll have to let me know if you're a Padres fan. It looks like he's a youngster. Arizona Fall League Padres. Nice hit right there, Austin Martin. So this has been a great pack. Asa Lacey, Austin Martin, Wander Franco, and an autograph. I'll take that anytime. And next, I'm going to go ahead and do the, let's just do all the heritage. We'll do the heritage high number from 2020. We'll be looking for the Luis Robert rookie card in here. We start things off with the rookie of Sheldon Noisy. There's Castellanos. We've got uh, Frank Robinson right there. And unfortunately, no Luis Robert, who's the best card in that set. We'll do the Gypsy Queen pack next and see what we can find. By the way, before I rip this open, I should show you or share with you the pack odds and tell you the best pack odds are going to be with the Gypsy Queen and the archives. There's all the social media hits, by the way, and also they're running an A-Rod ticket promo where you could win an A-Rod autographed bat. And if you'd like to sign up for the Boombox, there's the website, theoriginalboombox.com, or... You can do what I do whenever I want to just verify if the prices have not gone up, which they always are the same. I just type in 
in Google, I type in uh, Boombox Baseball and it takes me right there. So here we go with our next pack. We have nothing to write home about yet. There's a Matt Chapman tear of the diamond card. Jesus Lusardo and Mickey Moniak rookie card. Moving on. And we still have a whole other boom box to do, by the way. So whole lots of boom boxing today. Let's go ahead next and try our Stadium Club pack. I like the photography on Stadium Club. I think if I remember, there's two autographs per box in the Stadium Club, which is not that bad. And I think there may, was there 18 packs in a box of Stadium Club? There may have been, which is good odds. Unfortunately for this, I don't think we're going to get an autograph. Nope, we got a Greg Maddox 91 Stadium Club, a nice Reggie Jackson, and there's David Wright as our last one. I'm going to go ahead and do the archives next. I like the archive set. I mean, it's a little busier this year with all the different designs, seven different designs. There's the 62 design with McGuire and the 73 design with Chris Bryant. But... I like it. There's Aaron Judge. like that one a lot. 57 style. Walker Bueller. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be an auto on there. It's a Christian Pache. We've got the Derek Jeter. That's the 2091 Topps design. Notice how it says Topps 140 years. Man, I wonder what cards will even look like. They'll probably, honestly, be all digital by then. What do you think? In, the, like, in 2091, are there still even going to be cards 70 years from now? I think I think it would be all digital. I'm just I'm just guessing. Next, I hope there's still actual physical cards because um, I don't know. For me, I, I would rather have something I can actually hold in my hand. What if cards went all digital? Like, how would I do that on my? I guess I'd have to get it like hook up my Elgato to my computer and like uh, simulcast opening like digital packs from my computer. That wouldn't be as fun. There's Alec Bohm. That's a nice one right there. And Miggy is the last one. Alrighty, let's go ahead next and try our Stadium Club Chrome pack. We also have that Platinum Boom Box coming up as well. Stadium Club Chrome is a very snazzy release. I like this release. Only one autograph per box, though, which kind of stinks. There's another Alec Bohm. So we're getting some good luck with the Bohms. That's his Beam Team Refractor. Speaking of Bohm, we might as well do this finest pack and see if we can hit anything in here. There's Teoscar Hernandez. So this features the 1994 finest design. Pretty cool concept. Ramon Laureano. We got an Aussie Albies. That's a nice one right there. Yasmani Grandal. By the way, the Albies is numbered out of 35. 35 of 35 and numbered Albies Refractor. And here's the Bowman first edition from 2021. Let's see if we can get lucky and hit something in here. Seth Beer is a nice prospect. That's a good one. Austin Hendrick, another great prospect. Jonathan India, that's a good one. Alec Manoa is a great prospect, so a very decent pack. Marco Luciano is a huge prospect. Micka Bell, another nice one. Forrest Whitley and Mackenzie Gore. So that was a pretty good pack. And that's it for the first of the two boom boxes. The first was a $90 boom box. Now we're stepping our game up to the platinum level, the $140 boom box. Let's see what we can do in here, folks. Hope it's something good. Or at least we can pull something good. All right, so I see an archives pack at the top of the stack. Let's pull them all out and see. We've already shown you the uh, the odds, but we've got the archives pack, hobby pack of 2021. We've got a, wow, that's a nice one. Topps Chrome Sapphire pack. Very nice. It's always nice to open some sapphire. It's also nice to do jumbos. Here's a jumbo pack of chrome from 2021. A stadium club chrome. We've got a Bowman chrome pack. We also have a Topps Finest pack from 2020. And we have a Topps Chrome 2021 pack. So less packs in the platinum version, but you have some much higher end packs. Most notably the sapphire edition. Bowman chrome is a great pack as well. Topps Finest and uh, these bad boys, the jumbos when they first came out they're like $500 a box they're they're down a bit but those are still nice because you have a chance of five autographs per 12 packs here's all the odds you can see the odds are much better right now previous box was like one in 12 was your the best that was on the list now we have one in eight one in six one in six one in 2.4 so i'm feeling pretty good that we're gonna get a hit out of one of these let's see what we can do again the boom box links are right there if you'd like to follow them on facebook or Email them or Instagram. Now, here we go. The $140 boom box. Let's start off with the lower end pack of the bunch, which is going to be the archives and probably Stadium Club Chrome as well. Maybe we'll get lucky. Find one of those fan favorite autographs. There's Tyler Glass now, Albert Pujols, 
Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer right there. Spencer Howard, that's a nice one. Roberto Clemente, Harmon Killebrew, and Tris Speaker. So lots of uh, old timers in there and Hall of Famers. Uh, more than half the pack, but a pretty cool pack. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the Stadium Club Chrome. Lots of chrome in this platinum box. Almost all the packs have a chromium finish. I guess the only one that won't have a chrome finish is that Archives pack. We've got Nolan Arenado screaming. About what? I'm not sure. There's Frankie Montas, Oscar Hernandez, who's turning into a slugger, Jose Devers. And there's a nice Yachty Refractor. 1991 style design. I think next we're just going to go ahead and do our Chrome from 2021. we got a Hobby and we've got the Jumbo. Jumbo's going to have the best odds at the hit, but I'm going to do it anyway right now. I usually save that for last, but let's go ahead and see if we can get lucky. Here we go. 1 and 2.4 are the odds of getting a hit. And uh, also there's case hits which are roughly one in every eight boxes, I believe. A game-used relic. Corey Seager, Ronald Acuna Jr. is a nice one. Looks like if we're going to have an auto, it would probably be after this card. I don't think... Wait a minute. It might be after the Joey Bart. I think I see maybe like a whiting out of the photo. I think we have an autograph here, folks. Joey Bart and... Yes, indeed. There's the hit. It is a Carlos Hernandez rookie auto. So there's a ton of rookie autos in the uh, the chrome checklist and there's one of them carlos hernandez most of you are probably unfamiliar with him he only pitched in five games in 2020 but uh you have to let us know a little more about him royals fans so carlos hernandez rookie auto well take that one and we also have a salvi perez refractor bringing up the rear of that pack so let's go ahead now and i'm gonna go and do the finest pack from 2020 Let's see what's hiding out in here. There's Francisco Lindor. There's Mike Trout. Always a good time to find Mike Trout. There's Aaron Judge. We've got Zach Granke and Shohei Otani. So a pretty good pack. We've got Shohei and Mike Trout and Aaron Judge. Nice pack. Unfortunately, no hit. This is one in six chance of a hit. Bowman Chrome. Here we go. Dalton Vara shows our first one. I think I see some color. There's Mounty Ryan Mountcastle. We've got a Tyler Soderstrom out of 199. That is a nice card. First rounder from the A's, Jeter Downs, and Starlin Aguilar is the last card there. So we're down to the last pack of this video, folks. Thank you very much again for watching. I hope you guys hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Again, we'll have the Elite Boom Box. We've got a couple other subscription boxes that have rolled in this week. So um, a lot of these days, I'll probably have double uploads for you. So stay tuned. Now let's go ahead and crack this last pack open. It is the Sapphire Pack. Let's see if we can get lucky here. We have Walker Bueller. I love Sapphire cards. Look how nice those are. We've got Trevor Bauer, so it has a Dodgers feel so far. Two Dodgers starters. Maybe we'll get Clayton Kershaw next. We've got uh, Mauricio Dubon and... We've got Ryan Presley, so those are our cards. And that is the Boombox mid-end and platinum for the month of December. We'll have the Elite Boombox coming up soon, but too much Boombox for one video. we got to break it up. So this one's the super high-end. This is the $260 box. This will be coming up for you guys soon. So that's all I have for you right now. Also remember, the 12 Days of Troutmas series will be coming up soon on the channel. We'll be opening a whole bunch of 2011 products looking for Mike Trout rookie cards. All of those opportunities will be sold on Patreon. If you'd like to join Patreon, it's $4.99 a month, and there's plenty of room left in the 12 Days of Troutmas series. We've also got a great mystery product. Remember uh, Catching Trout from Cooperstown Bound? Well, they're back. I'm working with them again, and they're bringing us a second series of that. So that's it for right now, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.